All right, we're back, uh, part three. So we're actually making this video before part two is finished. So if there was any comments as to we did something wrong. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> You're confident, right? That's right. So if we can blame it on Aaron for not uh, editing it fast enough. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, his it's his fault. Here we go. So um, you're all prepped? Yeah, I think so. I, I put the drive, I hooked that front drive shaft up. So, there you go up there. So I'm hoping that we can, there's enough room that we can slide it backwards and then down and then in. So hopefully it works. You check the uh, removal video to see how long of a chain we needed. Yeah, and how far out we were, because I thought it was, we get it all and then it's, not, okay, down a little bit, we can't. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Let me just get a jack and we jack up on the back of the forklift. All right, so this video, will uh, we'll be dropping it back in again, hooking everything up and driving into the field. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm just sinking below the waterline. Good? Keep going? Yeah, we're uh, through most of the nonsense, so yeah, keep going down. Yeah. Okay, you're going down? <laughs> All right, let's stop there for a minute. Let's see if we get that plate out. So we gotta move the transmission to the front? Yeah, like that much. Okay. I'll give her, I'll give her the beans. Okay. I just, I just moved it. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if the slack on the chains is, you want me up there kind of prying? Kevin's putting the drive shaft bolts on, those that stubby little shaft on the front. Um, we're waiting on the pistons for the brake on that. So we'll have a separate video on that coming up after. And what do you have to do before the cab goes on? Not a whole lot, do you? No, put the cab on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, that works. <sighs> I got dirty. Wish this guy would sweep this floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a broom next time. <laughs> All right, well, you can just go forward. Yeah? Very close. Oh, look at that. Roar. It's in there. Good. I'll drop it down. Oh, hold on, I just get a couple of the No, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> you got her. It's in place. My contract ends. <laughs> Two bolts in, that's good enough. That one's in. Nice. And this one. Well, if that one doesn't line up, then we're... <laughs> something serious wrong. Yeah, forward, back, that's got it. Good. Nice. Just the puck is sideways now. There you go. Look at that. Beauty. <laughs> oh, crack your move. You got a little, little gap in the <laughs> And the pivot pins. <laughs> All right, we're good. It moved like 10 inches before the slack came on. <laughs> all right, I gotta put all these. On the bottom of those mounts is that. Yeah. And this and that. So yeah. I gotta crawl around, put all those underneath. I think basically time we're just gonna run the video in reverse, the time lapse. That was and do idea. it all backwards. Yeah. <laughs> because. That's pretty much it. That's basically it. And then we'll come back, throw the cab on, and uh, I'm field. glad that we got that, that drive shaft went in like that. That worked out really slick. Worked really nice. So you're supposed to take the caps off the crosses and lose all the needles on my nice clean floor. So that was just way easier. I am 
That went good. Nice working with professionals. <laughs> yeah. There's the right way, and then there's the better way. All right, so the transmission pump is way up here. And it has to suck oil up from way down here through a big tube. So we have to fill this pump up with oil first before we put that tube on because otherwise it'll likely be running dry for a while and I don't know if it'll suck it up otherwise. So we're going to fill it with oil and put that tube on, the dipstick tube on, and then yeah, we're almost ready to get the cab on. A few lines over top and where we go. Alright, these fuel lines seem better days. So, seeing how they all run under the cab, I guess now is the time to change them. So, we're gonna put some new ones on. Bit of an oops. We put the transmission in. This wire was behind there. It was stuck behind this plate. So, it's nice for the wire to go in and out. But, the plug of course wouldn't come through. So I got the one, the one pin out of the plug and then the other one didn't. So the one pin didn't want to come out. So I'm fortunate enough to have a kit. So I have a new plug and a new pin. We'll just quick put this together. Pretty professional looking. There, fixed. That one goes here. I think. back on <laughs> I shouldn't be here I should be getting ready for Motorama but Kevin's saying he can't can't do it without me so I'm here you ready well I've moved it that far and it's all <laughs> shaking and wobbling and like I don't like buying windows <laughs> no and you can't drive the forklift and carry the cables at the same time the forklift stops you when you get up feed so. the cables <laughs> yeah okay one of my kids tried <laughs> Taking it apart, you just 
the ant can pull and those cables follow, but when you put them back, you gotta remember which way they loop. <laughs> Kevin has to watch the video again. Yeah, they, because it's got a bolt here. No, I gotta crawl underneath now. Not underneath the cat, I don't even know crack. <laughs> So tired sitting on the forklift. You know, hold the brake, that's tough work. Going down. I think you're in. Going down. I think that's it. No, you're not quite no. all the way down yet. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure I can go home now and finish my stuff. Can you come give me a hand tomorrow? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, Kevin's gonna hook up everything. We didn't die. I feel good oh, telling no. his wife. No, it's all good. I'm gonna tell his wife that when I left, give me the hammer. He was alive. No, you gotta go up. No, we're good. Right. I'm gonna go. Get the weight off. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's no weight on it. I will unlock that fork to get her down here. I'll take a picture for the gram. Blame, blame uh, me not making a Motorama because I'm helping you. <laughs> Just so we have video evidence of that, because it is two days before the show. <laughs> well, you're supposed to come Saturday, and you didn't come. Well, it's because I was working on my stuff. You gotta let it down a little bit. Still waiting. Yeah. You let it down? Yeah, I'm letting it down. You're so needy. Transmission back out. Well, so this one here, and then the, the top one up there. This is the, this is the front. This is the top car, right? When it's laid. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So this one and that one should have been the other way around. So okay. now we drilled the other yeah. hole in there to move that back to that cable, and that one we drilled the other hole to move it back. Hooked up nice, but like I said, it was out just a hair. Yeah, so the shifter forks inside, like they're, yeah, they're going yeah. in gear, right? Yeah, that's so, all good. Okay. Yeah, so it's just where the lever was wouldn't go with the cable. Oh, okay, so the lever is not, the right. shifter fork can't, you can't get the shifter forks backwards, but you no, can get well, the lever backwards. I don't know if you can get the shifter fork, maybe get the shifter fork backwards, I have no idea, but no, they're right. <laughs> but it's, it's the lead, the, like the yeah. shaft that runs through, Yeah. right? They're exactly the same, other than the hole, where the hole is drilled yeah. through that shaft. So yeah. I could have drilled a new hole through the shaft, but I didn't like that idea because the closer you get to the middle, the less meat you get, right? Yes, that's right. So I drilled the, the lever instead. And it seems, okay. it seems to work just, just dandy. <laughs> so I drilled it at a 45, and of course that's off a little bit, but there's adjustments on the cables, right? So yeah. 
we can make up for it there. Okay, so I got the, the CD one. It's adjusted good. But now it's the two, the two, three one. I can, like it does, it shifts in the gears, which is what you want. Yeah. So I need to adjust that up a little bit, but of course, that adjusting nut is seized. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, the, yeah. bot the bottom one, the bottom one moves, the top one doesn't. Yep. So I'm just gonna make some shims to shove underneath there. And then tighten the top one up and that'll hold it. Yeah, right, right. Right. So that, that's another good point is when you got the cab off and you got the transmission out and the cables are really easy to get at and just take a torch and warm those nuts up. And, well, it was just uh, as easy to get it now as it was when the cab was laying on the ground. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, because it's inside the cab? Yeah, it's, it's okay. right here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right here, stuck. So the other one adjusted great. Okay. So we'll do that and then at least we can get it all in the gears. Yeah, nice. And everything else, yeah, you're getting there. You still got the AC. Well, I was gonna uh, maybe run it with that like that because it's handy to get at the ports. Oh, to check pressures. Oh, okay. That box out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Okay, you look tired, Kevin. I am tired. <laughs> it's been working in the field all day, <laughs> laying. Uh, laying pipe. Laying pipe. <laughs> laying pipe. All day long. We quit at night. Fix tractors. <laughs> so sorry, Dave Wilcox. Sun, yeah. We don't go lay pipe all night. In the sun, and then the uh, heavy concrete. Yeah, we're almost done that job. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow we're done. Okay, some of the comments when we took it apart was if you're hooking the fuel lines up, put the vacuum cleaner on the fuel tank and it won't leak. So we're going to try that. Okay, we've got the vacuum cleaner to fill, stuck with rags, I got the vent taped off. So now we're going to try it. Hopefully, it saves me getting the diesel fuel back. That worked great. Okay. I got a gauge in the master clutch port. We're gonna try this thing. Wish you luck. Hope this works. Okay, think we are ready to go. Just airing up the tire a little low. And then I had one piece left over. And that one goes right here. So we found where that went. We're gonna drop this hood and we're gonna try and wiggle it out of here.
So getting it out of the shed was a good test of reverse first shift. Worked good. Here we got it. Hooked up, ready to go. We're gonna go do give it a field test now. But first, the most expensive part of the whole operation. We're gonna fill it with fuel. Here we go. So, you guys don't know about this, but I think last year we made a bet between uh, Kevin and I as to who would get done first, the Terrigator or the uh, C10 going down the road. You won that bet, but then we made another bet off camera <laughs> as to who would get done first, the transport truck or the Steiger. Now, there's some discrepancies here. We need you guys to vote because Kevin doesn't agree with me. So, Rich says he's done first because his truck drove out of the shop and onto a float <laughs> and then got trucked to Toronto and then drove indoors but while mine was <laughs> sitting in pieces but now his truck is in the shop still and it still needs a safety it still needs an alignment it still needs an emissions test and this thing is out 
working ground and being profitable. So, so, so is it his was done running, or is it driving, and working were the key words because it'll never be done. R it, running, I think it was almost driving, done. and working, and it did work. Pulling right. the tank into Motorama with the trailer, the brakes are working, the lights okay, are working. Okay, so the question is. Did you buy that truck just to pull the truck into Motorama, or is it meant to go up and down the road on a daily basis? <laughs> it's meant to go. Look, I'm only one man, but it's up to you guys. Who buys who a case of beer? Uh, keeping in mind that the, the transport truck's a lot prettier than that thing. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It was nice to have it all come together. A couple little oopses, but nothing that you can't fix. Um, the brake video for rebuilding the brake will be a separate video. Um, ran into a couple snags with that, but uh, yeah, it pays to fix it yourself, right? Yep, if you uh, don't mind spending the time on it. Yep. <laughs> so we gotta let Kevin go back to work, plant a bunch of stuff, and we are back in the shop um, working on other stuff. So remember, if you're not filthy, if you're not rich, or Kevin. Here we go.